Hey everybody, JD here once again. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I was watching uh, Lucas C's uh, latest video on his new entry into his uh, the uh, Porsche group build that's being thrown by uh, him and Chuck at Chuck's Hobby Spot and Brian at uh, BG's Model Workshop. Um, and I thought I would open this kit. My, uh, I haven't even touched this yet. I got some parts for it. I haven't done much to it because I don't think it starts until July the 1st. So I'm here, but I'd go through the box, um, talk about some of my plans for it. Um, I guess, as far as I, I know, this is like maybe the only 914 kit that's available right now. Uh, as you can see, I've got some seats and some steering wheels. I've got some new Fuchs because the ones that are on the car, uh, come with the kit are like really tiny. Um, I heard there's a lot of problems with this kit, uh, but I've never, I don't know, I haven't built this kit ever before. Um, some of the glass, um, some of the chrome pieces, you can see the Fuchs are a little, a little shallow, so, you know, and a little small. I'm kind of hoping these fit. I uh, may have to make some modifications. Tires are so tiny compared to these. Um, there's the stock class because you can make a racing version. Uh, I'll be just building my stock. So I'm going to open the bag, see what's in the kit. I haven't even opened this yet. Oops. On the floor it goes. That's okay. Um, I was watching a couple of other videos of builds of this kit. And uh, one video I watched, the guy actually cut the chassis in half because I guess if you put the uh, bumpers on the kit first you can't get the body in. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not. I uh, may have to give it a shot. May that it be end up what I'm doing. Um, I think that's gonna look really really sweet. I don't know uh, what the stance is gonna be. Uh, I'm originally probably going to use a stock suspension. Um, they're supposed to be, the tires are supposed to be um, staggered, I believe. Oh, and it's on the floor again. Oh. So, yeah. Well, maybe they're all the same size. I think maybe, maybe one size is bigger than the other, or are they all the same size? I thought they were staggered. Uh, I don't know, they kind of look the same size, but that's okay. Staggered. Maybe they're just deeper. I just know they're bigger better, bigger and better than the ones that came with the kit. Because the ones in the kit, I just, yeah. All the 914 six pictures I've seen, the um, the Fuchs on them have been a lot deeper than the ones coming in the kit. Um, check out the... Come on. The uh, seats, got the seats and the uh, steering wheels off of eBay. These are really nice. I'm trying to see a gray seat against a gray countertop. They look pretty good. I'll probably paint these black because Magnus's, Magnus's uh, seats in his, his Momo seats in his uh, 277 are, are black. It's like black, I guess they're Alcantara. And um, he has a 914 or had, I don't know if he sold it. Um, it's silver and he's got like a, a real artsy paint scheme on it. Paint job. Uh, I don't know. 
I don't know, we'll probably one of these two steering wheels here. They look pretty close to a Momo steering wheel. Um, really interested in how this goes because the there's the seat, one of the seats that comes with the with the kit, and you get a stock seat. Um, I don't I don't know why they did it this way. <laughs> But there's a stock seat here, and you can put the stocks, another stock seat or racing, oops, another stock seat or racing seat here. Um, I'm really thinking about cutting this uh, this other seat out and uh, putting one of the, both, both the racing seats in here. I think that would look really good. I don't just I just need to get rid of that. That doesn't look good. Um, as far as the engine detail, it's got actually has a flat six. I am probably not going to wire it because where it's located in the car, you're not going to see it. Um, I get to do some, uh, let's see if I have to, if there's a way I can get the wheels to fit. Yeah, we got some odd looking, I don't know if those are supposed to be the disc brakes, because I think that's the front. Because when BG, BG was do, was uh, did his video a few years ago, um, it had this weird hub assembly, and I don't know. I don't know if the wheels go on there. I may have to change something up um, and get maybe some some uh, disc brakes or something to fit on the car. But it has pretty nice detail as far as the suspension and stuff. Um, the headers. Um, I don't know what that is. Uh, but the steering wheel has, oh that's got a lot of flash, but I'm not using that steering wheel. Anyway, um, got the deck lid, there's the engine cover I'm assuming, the door panels, um, front and rear bumper. I'll have to uh, because uh, the car that I'm planning, I'm, I'm trying to do a version, a 914 version of Magnus Walker's uh, 911 to 277. I think it's a 911 T. That's um, basically red, white, and blue. The, uh, the body's white, the hood, and the engine cover area, back deck, are red. And then the bumpers will be blue. I'm going to... Um, the chrome, yeah, the chrome. I'll probably, probably, strip the chrome off these, and um, I'll paint them, mount them on the body, and paint them blue. And uh, I think it'll be fun. I'm waiting for uh, July the first, and I'll start working on this. Um, I I bought a set of decals for. Um, Magnus Walker's cars. I haven't got them yet, um, but I think his car has got the is he a black Porsche on the bottom or it's blue? I don't know yet. But the decal set I ordered is uh, really sweet. Um, it's going to be nice. I'm looking forward to building this. Still working on my Whirly Bird. I'm still working on my, my uh, um, under 1000 group build. I got the grill painted. I need to hopefully finish put that together. I keep saying that, but it doesn't seem to happen. I worked 14 hours yesterday. I got up early today so I can make a video. Um, I'm thinking about uh, painting the interior and the instrument panel of my Whirly Bird, my Huey. Uh, here after I get done making this video and posting it. Um, I'm still working on my Matador. I think I'm going to order a few more pieces for it. I want to get a um, some kind of shifter for the um, automatic transmission in it, like a B&M or something. Let's see if I can find one of those. Um, uh, I have to work on the rear section because it has some fit issues that I will get to. Uh, follow up some stuff to um, 
fill the gaps I have in the back panel there. Um, but everything's going fun. I'm having fun. That's the whole point of this hobby. Like Lucas C is, it's all about building model. Building any models is fun. Um, I'm really looking forward to going to this meeting uh, on Sunday. Should be a blast. Uh, the only bad thing is, is that I've got, um, I found out uh, I have a big cut uh, in my one of my tires on my Fiesta. Um, one of the bad things about having a car that's got 18 inch wheels, <laughs> it's got a 40 sidewall, uh, is that potholes are not your friend. <laughs> and, and at night you can't see them and they bite you. And I kid you not, the night I drove my car home from Fresno when I bought it, I hit a pothole. Um, didn't have a blowout, but the low pressure, it did something to the uh, tire pressure sensor, uh, and I had to buy a new tire. I had planned on buying new tires for my car anyway, um, and um, I had to pay pay uh, my utility bill, my gas bill for the winter, which was as absolutely asinine. Um, so if there's going to be some of my money, um, I want to get. Uh, I don't know. I went. I was been looking online the tires that I want. I can't afford. I spent. I don't have enough of my savings. I really need to get a tire before it goes boom. Um, I think uh, there's some Yokohamas um, at a retailer here in town that I'm probably going to end up getting. They're just a little bit more than what I have saved up. And um, so, but you know what? I love that little car. Um, I used to have a 72 Camaro. That was my favorite car that I've ever owned, and my little orange Fiesta ST has gotten to be, you know, it's it's getting up there where I mean it's it's nice to have a car that I can drive like a bab like a baboon, and it still gets 30 miles to the gallon, and it's tiny, and I make people angry because I fit in places that they can't fit. <laughs> um, anyway, I uh, hope everybody had uh, has a great rest of the week, and uh, we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.